assalamu alaikum everyone in today's lecture we are going to discuss about the tga curves uh, tga curves are not fingerprint curves it means that uh, uh, tga curves depend upon multiple parameters there are uh, uh, there are few parameters that influence the shape of the tga curves um, because most events that occur in TGA are kinetics in nature, it means that they depend upon the absolute temperature, uh, heating rate, uh, time spent at that temperature and any experimental parameter that can affect the reaction rate will change the shape or transition temperature of the curve. It means that there are two main uh, main things that, uh, that would be changed with, by changing the experimental parameter, parameters. One is the shape of the TG curves and the other is uh, by, ch by changing shape the transition temperature can also be influenced and that could be changed. For instance if a thermal event occurring at, uh, at a 150 degree Celsius temperature for, uh, for uh, some particular heating rate by changing the heating rate that, uh, that event would be occur at a very different temperature. That's why we can say that TGA curves are not a fingerprints uh, curves. We will see in the coming slides. However, now we are going to discuss what kind of uh, parameters influence the experimental curves. First is uh, material type that the pan is made up of. Uh, alumina pan are inert uh, till 1700 degrees Celsius. Of therm thermally good conductor but they are uh, not as inert as alumina. So they are uh, they shows catalytic behavior. Similarly, ramp rate is also influenced the um, ramp rate also influence the TGA curves. Suitable heating rate to detect overlapping reaction. Purge gas, uh, protective gas, also influence the balance. Purge gas or reactive gas for the furnace. Sample mass, sample mass have um, have great great influence in TGA curves because if we have a higher mass then there would be a thermal gradient uh, in our uh, by changing the mass of the sample. Lower mass causes resolution limit of micro balance. Uh, so we have to maintain a minimum mass so that we can get a well resolved peaks for a, a particular sample. Moving on, uh, now we will see one by one the effect of uh, each uh, experimental parameter. For instance, here we are seeing the effect of heating rate. You can see that by, by changing the heating rate, here we in this curve we have 2.5 degree uh, per minute, here we have 5 and 10 and 20 degree Celsius per minute heating rate. By increasing the heating rate, by increasing the heating rate, there would be a, a thermal lag is generated. For instance, uh, if we see in, in this curve uh, where we have a heating rate 2.5 degree Celsius per minute, the thermal event occurring at about 490, deg uh, 490 degrees Celsius temperature. For the same material, by for the same material by changing the heating rate to 20 degrees Celsius per minute, the similar event, the same event occurring at higher temperature, uh, about 540 or between 40 and 50, 540 or 5, uh, 500. No, sorry. This is 500. The same event occurring at about uh, 500 and uh, 10 or 20 degrees Celsius, uh, 25 degrees Celsius. So we can say that by changing the heating rate, the same thermal event for the same material is changing at um, is changing the if, uh, temperature. The same thermal event occur at two different temperature for the same material for the same substance. This is due to the faster heating rate. Faster heating rate generate thermal lag. However, slower heating rate approach the thermal event, and uh, it is preferred that we should have a slower therm. Uh, slow is the effect of uh, effect of heating rate. There is a shift in onset with heating rate. Uh, there would be. Uh, we are seeing that by increasing the heating rate, there is a shift of temperature for the same thermal event. So rate effect the curves simply reflect that thermal events are kinetics in nature. They depend upon the uh, time uh, heating rate dependent. So we can say that they are kinetic in nature. Um, <coughs> next we will have uh, effect of time. Time to complete a degradation. If a uh, uh, heating rate is uh, higher, the time for a thermal event completion is 
smaller as compared to with the uh, lower heating rate here we have 2.5 degree celsius per minute heating rate but the time required for completion of this thermal event is higher as compared to higher heating rate here we have a lower time required for the same uh, completion of the same thermal events uh, moving on now here we have influence of heating rate on resolution uh, heating rate also influence the uh, resolution of uh, TGA curves for instance uh, if the heating rate is slower of course thermal equilibrium will be maintained and we will get a well resolved peaks uh, because a greater time is available for occurring a thermal event and we will get a very uh, clear and well uh, defined uh, TGA curve for instance here you can see a well sharp corner of TGA curve similarly here you are seeing the exact temperature where the thermal event is occurring and where it is uh, finishing however if the heating rate is higher here we have a 500 degree celsius per minute now the peaks are not well resolved we are not uh, we are unable to identify the difference between these uh, this thermal event similarly uh, the effect of uh, sample weight on the TGA curves of course by increasing the sample weight there would be a uh, develop a thermal gradient and that thermal gradient will cause change in the TGA curve here you are seeing that uh, here in these curve you are seeing the heating um, uh, different thermal events at different uh, temperature for the same material uh, for this different in mass for instance if you are uh, looking if you look into this curve this is about 17.6 milligram in weight the sample weight is 17.6 milligram and if you see in this brown one here we have 2.7 milligram if the mass is higher there will be a, there would be a uh, thermal gradient and that thermal gradient will affect the uh, it will affect the starting uh, thermal event starting temperature similarly it has effect on the ending temperature of that particular thermal event so you can see that this change in uh, change in temperature is due to the is due to the thermal gradient development within the greater mass however if the mass mass is smaller we will get um, uh, uniform temperature throughout the sample with no time that's why we we don't have any kind of thermal gradient in case of smaller ma smaller mass as a result we will get a very clear and very uh, different uh, peaks as compared to higher mass and the temperature is also different for occurring a particular thermal event and similarly uh, at the ending lecture we will discuss uh, TGA uh, further thank you so much